You know what's cool? Text to speech. You know what Rec Room doesn't have a chip for? Text to speech. Swa, swa, swa. Well, I mean, you could pre record a sample of what you want the text speech to say and then play it back. But that's not true text to speech. It's just pre recorded samples. For example, what if I wanted to say the player's name? Well, short answer is they can't unless you pre record every username known to man, but that's way too many audios to record. <gasps> what was that? I am at talk a text to speech at So yeah, this is what I've been working on for the past week or so. A fully functional but somewhat <clears throat> sorry, very robotic sounding text to speech in Rec Room that I am calling Rec Talk. This is actually one of the biggest CV2 projects I've worked on, and to say that I'm happy to finally release it is an understatement. And the best part is, I'm selling it for use in your own creations. Now, if you're only interested in how you can add Rec Talk to your room and some potential use cases for it, skip to this timestamp on screen. But if you're interested in the CV2, keep watching because I'll be explaining everything. Oh, yes, it is, buddy. Yes, it is. First, let's talk about RecTalk's capabilities. Actually, I won't tell you, RecTalk will tell you. Take it away, buddy. Thank you very much for explaining that, Rec Talk. Now, let's talk about the circuits. So, this is the circuitry for Rec Talk. This may look like a lump. What we can do is split this into six separate chunks. We can split it into the voice banks, the dictionary, the string parsing, the number parsing, the phoneme parsing, and the speech loop. Let's start with the voice banks. The voice banks are pretty simple. What we have is a collection of 39 phoneme pronunciations. So, ah, eh, uh, or, ow, I, eh, eh. so on and so on. These are recorded from the text to speech and then just thrown into a list. So this one's called Paul because it is based off the Deck Talk Paul voice. This is the original voice that the samples for Rec Talk's Paul voice comes from. And then next we have here is the word dictionary, which as it warns, 18,000 word to phoneme rules are in this chip. Now, because I'm in VR, unfortunately there is no scroll bar, but we could just, you know, like, rapid fire through some of these here. There's a lot of word to air bet rules. Which in case you're curious, I did source this from something called the CMU Dictionary 0.07, which I'm pretty sure had 117,000 words. But then if I narrowed it down to just 17,000 using a filtering script. Next, let's move on to string parsing. Even though this may look like a lot, it's only these chips right here. And the core of it is really this string clean chip. If we have a look at this very up close, it's just replacing a bunch of symbols with just their pronunciations and most importantly replacing some pronunciation like periods with a slash p we'll get into what that means later and in general just removing a bunch of unwanted crap from the string that we don't really need next thing we do with that output is we basically just turn into a list and then store that list into a variable next we go into number parsing and the heart of it is the special n to s chip and if we edit into this chip yeah it is it a lot which this video isn't about this but if you want to have a look at it for yourself be my guest you just remove the number from the list and then just keep adding like the pronunciation of the number to the list. So 2763 becomes, well, it's word version basically. Once we've looped through everything, we can just set these two variables, which is the phrase index, which is where we are in this chip, and phoneme index, which is where we are in the phoneme for the words. Then we go down to the phoneme parser. The first thing we check for is to see if the word is in the actual dictionary. So say for example, the word also, it 100% is in the dictionary at ID 526. We see if this is returning negative one, because if it's returning negative one, that is basically Rec Room's way of saying it is not in this list. If the word is found, then if that what we do is we store in this word called Rec Talk Phoneme. So say for example, also, we read it, it returns aus o. We store that into this variable called Rec Talk Phoneum. But if it's not found, then we loop through the word basically turning every letter into the phoneme. So A turns into A, 
L turns into L, S turns into S, and O turns into O. We basically just combine all those and set as Rectophonium. And then what we do is we then split that into another list, and then we move on to the audio playback. So the first thing it does is it just plays the phonium sound, which is detected via here. So say for example, we are at ID 2 on the phonium index, it gets the S sound, which is ID 30 on this array, and then we basically just return it into here. And then when it's done playing that, we see if we are at the very end of the phonium loop, which I, which is called Arabet. That's basically just the spelling of the words, just Arabet. We first see if the phonium index plus one is equal to the length of the list of the phonium. If it isn't, then we just loop it, you know, find, find the other sound, play it. If it is, then we're then we see if we're at the end of pronouncing the phrase that it was given. So that's phrase index plus one. If it is equal to 55, which is how many words are in this phrase, then after that we stop it. But if it isn't, we go all the way down here to add to add one to the phrase index, set the phoneme index back down to zero, and then we see if it is a pause, which is that slash p character. If it is a pause, we wait 0.25 seconds and then go back up here to see if there's anything else to do. If it isn't a P, we go all the way back over to the phonium checking. And that is the loop of Rectalk. Well, I hope at least one person understood anything from that, or you took anything away from that. That being CV2 is very messy. Okay, circuits and nerd talk over. Let's talk about how you, the builder, can use Rectalk in your rooms. First off, you'll need to buy the invention. The link is in the description to the invention page, or you can search Rec Talk Text to Speech and purchase the one created by me. And yes, I did say buys and purchase. You'll need to purchase Rec Talk for 250 tokens. Listen, I would like to give this out for free as well, but just because of how much effort I put into it, I kinda need to sell it to make money off of it for my time. However, extensions like voice banks are 100% free. And then the next thing you do is just spawn it in. However, Due to the use of data tables, you will have to do a room save. So just hit save and then it'll spawn in. Keep in mind though, if you move your maker pen, you might end up spawning it in the floor, which well, I mean, it's circuit, so it doesn't really matter, but it'd be really nice if you had this on a wall or somewhere nice out of bounds as if well clipped into the floor on an angle. I got so mad about the spawn that I decided to wipe everything from the room and just add a orange wall for demonstration. So by default, Rectalk comes with this very basic, like, demonstration chip. If you want to, you can just delete this as well. You don't really need to use it at all. It's just for demonstration for people who have not seen a video. So what I'm going to do is show you a very basic example of pressing a button and having Rectalk say your username. So the first thing you want to do is actually get out a button. And then find yourself an event sender. And then you want to configure the event sender and put on Rectalk speak. So let's just have Rectalk say hello world to start with. So if we type in... Hello world, hit done on that, then we push the button, hello, hello. Rectalk just said hello world, what you can do is you can also toggle on subtitles, hello, hello. you can also change how fast Rectalk speaks, so let's set the speed to 2, and then we can reset it back to 1. So let's do that example where the player pushes the button and it says their name. So let's get a player get account name chip out. Then we can wire that to go to the player. So that would be my name now. Then what you can do is get a string format chip out. Wire the player name into the value. Wire the result into the phrase. And then what you can do is you can just edit the format. So let's have it say the player that zero will be the player name pushed the button period then done and after that we push the button and that was rec talk speaking the username now, say for example you don't really like the default Paul bank, I'm going to show you how to, you can switch this bank out for another one. So, as I said earlier, there are only two voice banks right now, but I do plan on releasing more, so I'm going to use the second voice bank which I have created for a demonstration. So the invention itself is Rectalk Voice Paul Alternative, so if we select that, we can spawn it on a surface here for example, and then what we can do is just dewire that, and then wire that into here. And then we're using the other voice bank. I want to quickly go over what this TTS ID pin is for. So what we can do is set this TTS ID to anything. So just, let's say, button. Then if we take an event receiver chip, 
and then you set it to rec talk done speaking, you'll see that it returns TTS ID. And then what you can do is you can wire up an execution string switch and then add the value of the TTS ID you want to look for. So say for example, button. So basically when rec talk is done speaking this, it will send this event and then you can do whatever you want from here. So let's say for example, after rec talk's done speaking, we want to say something else. We can just wire from here into here. And then we push the button. It will then say hello world. It will continue saying hello world forever because button is being sent to this after it's done speaking. So I'm just going to manually force a stop. And I can't manually force a stop, so I'm going to have to unwire it here. And that is a basic demonstration of how you can use a rec talk. Now, if you're not sure how to use rec talk in your room, I did make a demo room featuring some activities that you can try for yourself, like a speak and spell game, a basketball game. And there's also a free type area where you can type whatever you want. I do plan on expanding this room with more demos because there is like an entire empty corner here. So let me know in the comments what demos I should add to this room. So do I plan on revising this in the future? Yes. Will it be soon? No. Even though I'm really happy with how Rack Talk is right now, it can 100% be better. For example, smoothing the phoneme sounds would be really nice just so that it's less harsh. But I feel like the best time to do that would be with a complete rewrite of the CV2, which I'm just not ready for at the moment. Or even Rec Room might release their own text-to-speech chip that completely throws my invention into the water. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching if you made it to this point. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more Rec Room content about circuits or even just Rec Room in general. Rec Talk, do you have anything else you want to say, buddy? Rec